we're looking at the neck from the side. There is the anterior, and that is the superior. Obviously, the muscle here is the sternocleidomastoid muscle. And here I can see the border of trapezius. Can you identify this nerve? This is SCM and this is trapezius. And the nerve is between them. That is the spinal accessory nerve. Why do we call it spinal accessory nerve? Any idea? It is motor nerve. Actually, it arises from spinal cord segments. If this is the spinal cord, this is a, a, not a section of the spinal cord, but let me draw a section of the spinal cord here. This is the gray matter of the spinal cord. The, from the anterior horn of the spinal cord, there are anterior horn cells. These are motor. They have accents. And so this, the spinal accessory nerve arises from the upper four cervical segments of the spinal cord and the axons will collect together, then it will ascend up. Doesn't go directly to sternocleidomastoid or trapezius, but ascend up. And so they enter the cranial cavity through the foramen magnum. And so this is the spinal root of the accessory nerve. And then after that, we have some fibers that join the spinal root of the accessory nerve and they form the accessory nerve for a very sh short segment. So the accessory is number 11. And I just want to remind you that the nerve number 10, what is nerve number 10? It is the vagus. So that will be the vagus. Now what's going to happen here is that for a short period of time, this cranial root of the accessory nerve is going to join the vagus and its fibers continue with the vagus. What remains of the accessory nerve is the spinal root of the accessory nerve, which will appear separate from the vagus through the same foramen, which is the jugular foramen. And it is this root that is going to go back again and supply the sternocleidomastoid and trapezius muscle. Instead of just immediately supplying them from the neck, it has this let's say an awkward root it goes up into the cranial cavity joins the cranial root of the accessory only for a short distance separates from it and then through the jugular foramen descends down while the remaining part of the accessory which is the cranial part of the accessory is a very small nerve that then joins the vagus nerve and will be distributed with the vagus nerve that's why we call it the spinal accessory nerve, because it originally arises from cell bodies of neurons that are located in the upper four segments of the spinal cord. And we can see it in the posterior triangle of the neck.